right next one is poultry farm management see here the rearing of the fowls re rearing of the fowls rearing of the fowls for the eggs and uh, meat right here the rearing of the fowls for the eggs and meat that is the poultry farm management here the poultry belongs to the or includes to the pea fowls ducks turkeys geese pigeon and emus so these are birds are reared in this poultry farms generally the birds which are used for the production of the eggs they are called layers like right here the birds which are using for the production of the eggs is known as layers and uh, as well as the birds which are used for the meat or flesh so they are called as broilers so generally you know that one the young chicken or the young chick is at the age of 8 18 to 10 weeks it has the 1.5 kg of weight so ratherly these uh, chicks are as uh, poles are very grown very easily grown uh, within the 8th to 10th weeks it has the 1.5 kg of weight okay so generally the poultry farms are in rural areas it is used for the cot cottages and uh, large scale industries large scale industries right see ones the poultry farm management or poultry are are placed in rural areas in the cottage industries and uh, large scale industries it belongs to the uh, cottage and la large scale industries and which gives the more employment and uh, additional incomes to the farmers or any uh, who are uh, maintaining these farms see here generally in the in worldwide we observing uh, by the fall trees in the third stage of third uh, place in throughout the world that is producing of eggs okay in worldwide the india is the third place for produ producing of the eggs as well as the fifth place the india has the fifth place to producing the meat of chicken okay meat of chicken see here the central poultry board or poultry a uh, breeding farm is presented the mumbai right so which is uh, useful to produce the quality and quantity type of chicks okay right see here the bhubaneswar and uh, isargat bhubaneswar and isargat that is the hybrid layers which can used in uh, india okay right here the one of the institution is that indian veterinary research institution that is uh, located in ijjat nagar so that produces the broil broiled or broiler stainers broiler stains and as well as uh, the poultry vaccines see these are poultry farm management so in that generally we observed in the 8th to 10th week of uh, chicks that has the 1.5 kg of weight so in rural areas the poultry farm poultry farms are maintaining in the cottage and large scale industries so in worldwide we observed that the third place india got the third place for the produ production of the eggs and as well as 
the fifth place of the India that is producing of the meat of chicken so our flesh so you know that one the central poultry breeding farm that is locating in the that is located at the Mumbai which provides which helps to uh, producing the quality and uh, quantity of chicks so one of the institution or uh, Indian veterinary research institution that is located at the Ijat Nagar and uh, that produces the broiler strainers and as well as producing the vaccines here India used a uh, type of hybrid layers that are Bhubaneswar and uh, Hisargat. They are the species which provides, which uses to the layers. Okay. And next one, important components of the poultry management. Important components of the poultry management. In that first one is important components. important components for poultry management see here first one is selective desirable species and breeders see selective desirable species are breeders so that means here the accumulation of the wide range of climatical conditions for the hybridization right so selective desirable species are breeders in that the accumulation of the wide range of climatical conditions so if we mating or if we if we breeding the one or another of fowls so the generation of the resulting of the fowls each has the special characteristics that means that maintaining or that accumulate the different climatic conditions so here the hybrid layers of the poles are used they are like here BV300 type next uh, Highline Highline and next uh, Puna Pulse so these are the variety of desirable species of the poles okay right next uh, food management second one is food management so the production uh, the, for the more production of poles we can provide the a complete food diet food management for the production of meat uh, for the production of the egg so uh, a quality uh, food pro particles so that is provided for the uh, poles see here what are the diet so a complete diet is provided for the poles so for the here uh, for layers and uh, here broilers what are the diet can be provided so here first one is um, brooders match mash brooders match next uh, prehistoric prehistoric mash here for the static static mash growth mash growth mash and pre layer mash pre layer mash and next finish mash See once for the layers we can provide the brooders brooder mash for the boilers prehistoric mash here the layers growth 
and pre-layer mashes are provided for the complete diet to producing the uh, <coughs> a good quality of eggs and uh, a good quality of the meat as here boilers that is only for uh, meat here to producing a, um, to production of the a good quality of uh, meat we can provide to the broilers pre static mash squat uh, static mash and uh, finish mash so these are mashes means that is completely having a more nutrients in that uh, food particles okay see next one health and hygiene is one of the component for the maintaining of or poultry management health and hygiene third one is health and hygiene see here health and hygiene suppose those we are wanting the desirable uh, fowls that should be must health and hygiene conditions so for suppose what we have to do for the maintaining of the health and hygiene of that fowls see here to provide the vaccines for the vaccines for the viral diseases see what are the virus what are the diseases means so, ronicate and markers diseases markers diseases these are the um, vaccines uh, these are the diseases for that the ranicate um, viral disease and markers viral disease when uh, the fowl is affected by these uh, viral diseases we can provide the vaccines so as well as the antibiotics antibiotics to provide for the bacterial bacterial diseases like uh, um, in conditioned in conditioned fowl in conditioned fowl and next uh, the chronic chronic respiratory disease respiratory disease and as well as uh, influ infectious coryza infectious coryza so these are the bacterial diseases which can provide the antibiotics.